This is Brad A. Milford with the Unlimited Wisdom Podcast, where business owners making mid five figures or more share their wisdom. It's six questions in nine minutes because transforming possibility leads to reality. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. So my name is Tracy Sanders. I do a lot of things, actually. I'm an author. I'm also a women empowerment speaker. Um, I'm a mom of three, so I share my wisdom on being a mom, being a wife, being a female business owner, and all those types of things on social media. And I'm also a new grandma of a nine-month-old. Love it. Congratulations. Thank you. A whole new perspective, I imagine. Absolutely. <laughs> Question number two, what's the best thing about being in business? I, to me, the best thing about being in business is being able to take and build something out of nothing. Like use your gifts that God has given you and bring joy and fulfillment and success to others using your gifts. That's my favorite thing. Love it. What more can be said about that, right? <laughs> Love it. Question number three, we hear from other business owners, successful business owners like yourself, Tracy. They're getting so much business that the chaos is causing overwhelm. Tell me your thoughts on that, please. I think chaos, what I've learned over the past few years of running a business, chaos comes about whenever you're not, when you're not prepared when you just feel like you can't control everything and everything's coming at you all at one time and you didn't have anything in place to prepare for that. So I think being prepared is the key to being able to deal with chaos and stress. I love it. Preparation, mm -hmm. where preparation meets opportunity. They say that's where the success is, right? <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. Question number four, what other successful business owners like yourself should be on the Unlimited Wisdom podcast? I would not doubt that this lady has already been on your podcast. Her name is Melanie Ake. I've been connected with her for several years and I met you through her. So I'm pretty sure she's already been interviewed here, but there are a couple other people out there who I think are just taking it by storm and just being absolute fantastic business owners. Danielle Doyle is one. Um, I'd be happy to introduce you to her. Love it. Love it. And I do love me some Melanie Ake. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can't Question number them. five. Let's get to it. Let's get to the crux of everything. What piece of wisdom, based on your advice, would you share to other business owners, Tracy? So I would share that a couple of things. You should always trust your gut and trust your vibe with people, right? So you don't have to do everything because I know I deal with a lot of women who are in um, network marketing and those types of industries. I know you do as well. And they tend to have this one, you know, one answer for everything. You know what I mean? Like that's the golden ticket. That's the golden nugget I've been looking for. And I've got to do this and I've got to, now I've got to turn around and do this because this guru said to do this. And I think that you should just really keep it authentic. Um, keep your integrity about you and not think and feel like you have to do everything that your upline is doing or anyone who's teaching them to teach you to do that, that you have to do it that way. To me, it's all about people are the value that they're going to get from working with you is working with you, not necessarily your products or your service that you offer. I love it. I love it. There's a lot of, of, of wisdom in there. So can you tell me a little bit more, like what are some of the challenges that you've had over the, with regard to that over the last say year? Cause I know you, you've really excelled over the last year to two years. Um, you know, I think it just comes to people. People will say they're going to do one thing and they're fired up, ready to go, and then they don't do anything mm. or they let their fear hold them back or they get to a certain level and then it's so hard because you want it so badly for them and you know they have it in them and they just stop or they go backwards, you know, and they just let it all go. And I think that's where a lot of people have failure in business is when they get scared. A lot of people that I didn't even realize I had it too was a fear of success because with success comes huge responsibility, right? And some people think they're ready for that and they might make some good money in the beginning, but then when they realize what it takes to make that money, it's when they really start backing off. They're like, oh, that's enough success for me. You know, I'm sure you've heard John Maxwell say that people come up to him and say, man, I'd love to do what you do. But he says, but do you want to do what I did to do what I do? And I, that phrase has just stuck with me forever. I absolutely you know, was blown away by that. And I think of it all the time in my business. 
I, I agree 100% more if there was such a thing. I totally <laughs> agree. It's, uh, I, think, I think people hit a plateau at, at some point. What, what advice, we've got about a minute left, what, what advice would you give to those people who are coming across that, that fear or that plateau or, or, or what you call it? You know what I tell my team all the time is borrow my courage. Find someone who you can borrow courage from and, until you find your own. And the way you find your own is to keep showing up and doing the work. The more you show up, the more you're going to get the results that you're looking for. It might take you longer than other people, but you will inevitably get the results you're going for because consistency does reward you. Whether it takes, you know, a week, a year, two years, whatever, it will reward you. It may not be in the way you think. A lot of times it's in ways that you can't even imagine. So that would be my advice is just keep showing up, be consistent. As you know, consistency is like the key to everything in life, losing weight, having a great relationship. And I think people just get so stuck on the business aspect of business, they forget that all these other things play into our emotions that drive our business, correct? I love it. I love it. Emotions drive everything. It kind of ties into the why. I love it. If you don't know your why, then when you do get stuck, it's you're going to be stuck. I love Absolutely. it. Well, I love what you said about courage. Uh, borrowing courage. I've heard borrow influence. I haven't heard anybody say borrow courage. But I absolutely love that. Thanks for sharing that. Question number six, what's the most fun vacation you ever had, Tracy? Okay, so in 2011, it, my, I had a daycare in my home. So you got to understand I'm super big about planning things. And if I got to take time away from my business back then, I would have had to know like a week ahead of time. So my husband had arranged for someone to come cover the daycare for me. And it was my birthday. I think it was my um, sixth birthday or something like that it was in 2011. He whisked me away to Manhattan for the weekend. I had always wanted to go to Central Park, uh, Park. <laughs> Central Park, not Central Park. It doesn't exist, by the way. <laughs> um, and so we just left. It was Thursday night that he gave me the plane tickets for my birthday. Friday morning, we left and we were back Sunday night. It was just the most magical weekend and because I made a conscious effort I said you know what we've only got a weekend and most times when you go on vacation you're so busy fitting everything in I said I'm going to absorb every single moment of this trip so I never forget it and I did that was the huge difference in that trip I love it there's a reason why we do what we do right absolutely <laughs> work to live I love it Tracy thanks for being on what's the website or uh, social link where people can find you I used to have a lot of social pages and everything, but I've simplified my life. I really just love to connect with people in Messenger. So if you've got something that I probably would find value in and connecting with you, I would love to do that. And however, I can offer value to you. You know, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for real connections, just like Melanie does. I've learned a lot from her about connecting with people on a real level. So just find me on Facebook. You know, we'll know within the first few, few interactions if we've got a good vibe. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And simplify. Whew, that's huge. That's a nugget mm -hmm. in and of itself. Yes. This is Brad A. Milford with the Unlimited Wisdom Podcast, where business owners making mid five figures or more share their wisdom globally. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.